Welcome to our tripod cast. We're here at the 2011 BSCAI convention being held at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're really uh, honored today to have the president-elect, the 2012 president of the Building Service Contractors Association International, uh, Terry Woodley, with Woodley Maintenance in Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome, Mr. Soon to be, Mr. President. Well, thank you, Dick. I'm yeah. Glad to be here. And uh, I, obviously, you've got uh, some some uh, time-consuming things ahead of you, don't you, in the in the next year? Absolutely. But I'm looking forward. Yeah. To it. Tell us a little bit about Woodley. Uh, you know, your company, and then maybe we can segue into uh, your impression of this year's show, and maybe some things that are planned that uh, our audience ought to be listening for and looking for in 2012. Absolutely. Well, my dad founded our company, uh, Jimmy Woodley founded our company back in 1969. 1969. And uh, we've grown from a one-man operation <laughs> operating out of the back of a trunk into an operation that has over 800 employees okay. uh, serving clients in six different states. Six different states. Yeah. Okay. 800 employees. For, for those of you listening that are maybe a small company and say, you know, gee, I'm really out here working every night. There's uh, Here's, here's living proof that you can build a quality class organization. So, um, what do you think so far of the show? We've been uh, we've had a trade show, uh, co going coexisting with ISSA, yeah. and now we we're halfway. When by the time we're recording this, we're halfway into the uh, actual educational part. Right of the uh, BSCA part, so what do you think so far? I think the trade show has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, we got kicked off today with all of our educational segments mm -hmm. of the BSCI portion of the of the uh, show, and uh, I think it's been really good so far. We've talked about, we've had several sessions that felt, dealt with finance, we dealt with general management, we dealt with operations, we dealt with HR. Uh, we're dealing with all those things that the contractors deal with every single day. And we're trying to give them best mm -hmm. practices and, and good ideas that they can take forward back to their companies. One of the things I've noticed that there's a real emphasis here on technology. Yes. You know, and the old mop and bucket group brigade of when your dad was starting right. and when I was starting right. back in the 60s and 70s is kind of a thing of the past. That's isn't right. It? You know, That's right. We're really legitimate businesses now. Right. If you want to, not that we never, that right. we aren't always. Right. But. Um, you know, you got to have some of this electronics if you're going to be successful. Well, and, and you're right about that. And, you know, I talk to my dad all the time. He's still involved in our business. Mm -hmm. And he says all the time, this business is changing. It's, it's, it has changed. And it's more than just the technology that surrounds the electronics. But there's technology involved with the things we use to wipe with. Mm -hmm. There's technology in the chemicals that, that we use to clean with. Um, there's technology in the design of the mop buckets that, that are used today. So there's mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. is all around us in more ways than just electronic. And we need to be, make sure that we're able to leverage and take that with us because it's going to be the difference between um, of being successful in the future and not being successful. Absolutely true. So what are some of the things we have planned? I know we're, uh, we've got a meeting coming up in uh, we're Costa Rica in Costa Rica, January. We've got January. one coming up in uh, we're Scottsdale, Arizona. Exactly. So give us a little bit of a, you know, what those what those are called and, and what they're going to be about. Well, we have a CEO seminar that's coming up in Costa Rica in January. Uh, and that is always a, a good event for um, owners and executives mm -hmm. of companies to come together. Like all BSCA events, mm -hmm. they're great networking opportunities. Um, one of the greatest benefits and, and really what I feel strongest about BSAAI is that there's an opportunity to network work with folks and people who may even be direct competitors with you are willing to share information with you, you know, whether it's at the session tables or it's in the bar or the restaurants mm -hmm. after, after the events. Uh, there is a, a willing ear and some ready advice and, uh, and it's, that's a wonderful thing. And then we go to Scottsdale, mm -hmm. I believe that's in May of next year. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we're in Chicago next year for the ISSA, uh, BSAI co-located uh, convention and trade show. It'll be, yeah, and that'll be what, next October? Uh, well, this October. time next, October, November, no, October. It'll be in October, year. about yeah. the same time yeah. next year. So. Yeah. so I think uh, knowing you and watching you, I, I, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> you know, I'm as old as dirt, but I've watched uh, Terry grow up. I've been and, around for a long time. And I've uh, I've watched you develop and become a very, very good businessman, and I compliment you for thank that. Thank you. And uh, uh, so I want to thank you very much for joining me here today, joining us with TriPodcast, and we feel honored to have the upcoming president sitting in with us. And this uh, our, our audience, uh, 
I'm sure will enjoy next year uh, under Terry's leadership. I know I will, because I've been looking forward to that. We've had a great year this year, uh, haven't we? Yes, we've we sure had a have. great year this year with uh, Sally. Membership is up, and benefits the members are, is up, and we're all excited about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I can uh, I can echo all those same things. So again, thank you for joining us, and thank you for watching us. We appreciate it.